<clears throat> okay, we're filming with the GoPro today and it's breezy out. I got the external mic hooked up with the dead cat on it. And uh, right here, look at the Cheyenne. I got the cover off it. Um, the seats were unbolted, so the front seat's just over there. Back seat's still in, but it's not bolted. But anyway, get a lot of questions on what was the damage to the boat when it crashed. Um, uh, cause what actually happened with the boat is the, uh, well, the jet drive's covered up, but the loader and the jet drive broke, dropped down under the boat, and the boat nosedived, and this fork dove into the water. It caused the boat to flip and do a cartwheel, and then it sank. And we got it out, and the motor's good to go. There's a whole nother video on getting the motor running. But what happened to the boat is, it, uh, the whole thing flexed, and it busted loose some of the stuff, so the dashboard cracked right here. My plan is to take this wood, uh, you can see where it's separated. So I'll probably cut it here, go across here, 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 and down, and just remove the wood from the back and glue it back onto all this fiberglass and get that all back together. Probably have to prop it up inside and that'll pull this back together if I prop it up underneath. Uh, and do that to fix that you know put some new reinforcing wood behind it and put the gauges back in i have all new gauges to go in here problem the uh speedometer was here the tachometer is here the speedo is a gps speedo and this is the gps antenna for it autometer doesn't make the speedometer that uses this antenna any longer but they, uh, they found another company that makes one and it's a white face gauge it's not autometer but it's a white face gps speedometer that works with this antenna and it's brand spanking new still in the box and that's going to go in here so anyway the damage was this broke right here and that's the minor one um this false floor i put this floor in after i bought the boat and these studs right here this is where the diverter control mounts these studs right here is where the hot foot mounts and then the seats bolt on these holes right here and here uh there's aluminum brackets aluminum brackets and the seats mount on top of the aluminum brackets to the stringer the stringers are solid that didn't even bust loose at all my false floor i put in on this side over here this side right over here my false floor busted loose so that's real easy to fiberglass just lay some glass back over that and that'll glass that back in now the other the hard part and it's really not a major deal adjust but okay this is the bulkhead and the bulkhead was tabbed in and you can see right here all right the bulkhead fiberglass broke along the deck here and then right here the bulkhead the wood broke here and the wood broke here on the other side this piece is tabbed in it stayed connected because because it broke right here instead and then over here also it broke loose Oh no, that's that's attached. Okay, just this side broke loose. So that broke loose along here. It broke here. It broke here. On the bottom. Oops. It came off. On the bottom. Uh, yeah, the wood broke right here across the bottom. And right here. So we need to re-glass that. Uh, I was gonna put a piece of wood. Man, this damn camera. I was gonna put this cut a piece of wood. Basically, goes from right here, probably a few inches down. And it covers all this and comes to this side, and use construction adhesive and glue it to the back, and then just re-fiberglass the front. I mean, these things only get tabbed in, so. It's not like it's major structural, all right? It just broke at the tab right there. You can see where the tab broke, where it's shaking. So that needs to be repaired. That needs to be repaired. That needs to be repaired. I mean, see, look, it's not even fiberglass up here because it's just tabbed in, you know, in the corners here. All, the, all that's still strong down there. That's rock solid. 
But last time on the water, the forks were wobbling, and this is why, because this is busted loose. So if you look up in here, and it's probably too dark. The strings are rock solid tight all up in there. Everything's good to go up there. Bent, but it didn't break. But yeah, it broke loose here. So that's all. There's no wood rot or nothing like that. We had this thing out of the water probably within three hours. Uh, this was back out of the water. So you know, everything under here is good. It is spider cracked right along here. Right along here on the top side of the deck. Uh, and that's just a cosmetic thing. Uh, the spider cracks in the gel coat. So that's what needs to be fixed. Uh, it's minor stuff and in fact you just depending I have an opportunity and we're trying to get a sailing catamaran and if I miss the opportunity I'll just end up fixing this boat myself. That's not hard to do. This isn't hard stuff and I have the material to do it so I'll probably just do it. So that's it.